The anatomy of the outer hoof. The exterior hoof profile. The hoof wall. The outer hoof wall protects the internal and sensitive areas of the hoof. The outer wall is the strongest material of the hoof and serves as a flexible shock absorber. The strength of the hoof wall can vary depending on the pigmentation, and darker hoofs are stronger than white. The toe. The toe is the frontmost portion of the horse's hoof. The coronary band. A ring found at the top of the hoof and is often lighter and softer than the surrounding area, making it easier to identify. This band serves to produce the tubules of the hoof in addition to adding support to the inner hoof as it flexes during movement. The sole profile. The frog. The frog serves as a shock absorber for the hoof, a protective barrier for the internal structures, provides traction, and increases circulation. The central sulcus. Found at the back of the frog, the central sulcus is a shallow indention in the frog. The collateral grooves. Found on both sides of the frog, the collateral grooves can be an indicator of how close the sole sits to the sensitive interior structures of the hoof. The quarters. Found on the sides of the hooves, they make up the narrowest part of the hoof wall and are found between the toe and the heel. The sole. The sole is the base of the horse's hoof and serves to protect the internal sensitive areas of the hoof, naturally shedding throughout the ear to ensure that it remains strong. The white line. The white line is found adjacent to the inner hoof wall and is oftentimes not so much white but more a yellowish color, making the term golden line a more accurate description. It serves to adjoin the inner wall with the sole of the hoof, the aim of aiding in traction and preventing bacterial infection of the inner hoof. The bars. The bars stem from the heel of the hoof, moving down the sole, stopping halfway down the frog. The bars aid the heel in providing additional support, preventing distortion and strengthening the heels. The heel. The heel bears the weight of the hoof, which is why it is more flexible than the rest of the hoof wall.